This was a riot. I love a good rom-com. It's back just in time for Valentine's Day as well. Yeah. Uh, Camilla, we'll kick it off with you. Why is this the perfect date night film and was the chemistry instant with you and Archie? I think it's the perfect date night film because it's kind of like, you know, obviously it's a rom-com and it has a certain element of predictability, but I think there's a lot of nuance to it. And I think it's a movie that like, you know, obviously our target demographic is women, but I think men will really enjoy this one as well. You guys had us spiraling a little bit because <laughs> yeah. we're getting a little out of control. <laughs> I mean, it has the the uh, couple's relationship, but it's also yeah. like a date night movie with your friend, girlfriends. Exactly, yeah. It could be a Galentine's yeah. Day yeah. flick. Yeah. It was very funny. Um, the story was giving me some Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. Was that sort of the inspiration? Were you channeling Miranda Priestly? Isn't it always the inspiration for like everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, there were elements of... of that that we talked yeah. about. It was definitely oh, yeah. a reference point, but I also think it's, you know, it has a, I feel like Marissa did such a good job of playing an entirely unique character. Like, I feel like, you know, Miranda Priestly was very, uh, you know, demure and whatever. And I loved that Claire was more kind of like a little freak. She was like she an oddball. She's freak. like high she strung and, and unique. And I think that she was, was her own little freak yeah. show. Yeah. We it's also, a different kind of crazy. Yeah. We got yeah, some of the humanity also like as Cruella. Well. You have Emma Thompson doing yeah. one of those iconic like yes. boss characters too. Exactly. So this hopefully is her own. You were great. And I love the little freak. accent you adopted for this. <laughs> the French accent. Made up accent. Yeah. <laughs> we want it Claire to be American so that yeah. their, their journeys mirror each other. Exactly. So, so her journey it could have been me when I was young. And there, yeah. there had to be some element like that. Yeah. But yet her last name was DuPont in the script. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like, OK, she, just, she made it up as she went Who along. Who knows if it's real? Who knows if it's real? And it's definitely not. <laughs> Camilla, what about this character were you able to relate too. I feel like this character is me in a lot of ways. Um, I feel like I've played Aww, a lot of, really? I know, yeah, well, oh, she was I very likable. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Um, I play a lot of, you know, like Veronica on Riverdale and Andrea and Do Revenge, I think are very like confident, assertive characters. And um, I definitely like have an element to my personality that is that, but I also identify way more with an Anna type, you know, I, I don't feel like I, always know what to say and have everything together. And um, you've done the intern thing too, right? I did. I interned at a talent agency. Uh, oh. That's actually how I got my first agent and how oh. I booked oh. Riverdale. So. That's a clever girl. This is, this so is I was so in on at some point in my life. Um, one of my favorite like messages, quotes from the film was, chance moments could change the course of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, Camila, do you feel like Riverdale was sort of that chance moment for you? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I... I booked it right out of college, which felt like this whirlwind and something I could have never possibly have dreamed. Um, and it did change my life. And, I, you know, I never knew I was going to book a show at a college that ran for seven years. It's so oh <laughs> rare. And it's crazy that this is like this year is like the first year I've come mm -hmm. out of that phase. So it's like a whole new yeah. world. I know yeah. you you just wrapped it and yeah. you're doing big things. You're executive producer, yeah. executive <laughs> producer. That is big Amazing. time. Thank Have you. you heard from your Riverdale, you know, co-stars about how proud they are of what you're doing? Now? Oh yeah. I mean, but they're also all producing as well. Like I think we've all kind of realized how much Riverdale taught us um, mm. as artists. I mean, being on a set for that long, you just pick up on so many things. And um, I think all of us can relate to that. Mm -hmm. um, and your your co-star, Charles Melton, is getting so many accolades, so much recognition for May, December. Yes. How cool is it to see him, like, really take off? It's amazing. I feel like, you know, it's so great to see. I'm really excited to see where everyone goes after the show because, like, I've always believed in every single actor on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so much talent on our show. And the actors are capable of so much more than we've been able to see. So it's really beautiful to see. I mean, his performance in May, December is so good. And it's like really cool that people are now seeing like the potential that everybody has. Totally, mm -hmm. totally. You all are just like, that was just the beginning. I just yeah. can't wait yeah. to see what everyone does next. Yeah. Uh, Marissa, 30 years ago, you filmed Only You with Robert Downey Jr. Also Spider-Man, of course. How hard are you rooting for him to win his first Oscar? 
I'm always rooting for him and, and, and everything he does. But, you know, he's a genius. He doesn't really need me rooting for him. <laughs> yeah. Well, he deserves all that's coming for yeah. him. So we're super excited to yeah. see what happens. Uh, I want to play a quick little love rapid fire in the spirit of this rom-com and Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the, what is your perfect date? I'm pretty simple. I just like a dinner, like a nice, beautiful dinner with good food, Italian food. Depends and like, it depends what, you know, yeah. the restaurant that's picked or at home. But, but you know, too, but, yeah. my boyfriend's Italian, so, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> he'll, he'll pick a good one. <laughs> does, does he cook good Italian as well? <laughs> um, not really. I feel like he could, but we just love, we love the experience of going out yeah. for a nice dinner. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good, right? good like, choice. Right? Simple. Yeah. Got it. This day and age, you know, dating apps, yay or nay? Nay for me, I can't, I can't figure it out. I'm, yeah. I'm lost and I actually need help. So that, this is a cry for help and I'm glad you set it up <laughs> for me. I'm with you on that. I'm like, I need this to meet like, someone in the wild. I just cannot yeah. Yeah. <laughs> understand how it works. And I'm just oh like flummoxed and embarrassed. And then, oh, It's like, complicated. There's a lot it, that goes into it. Okay, you can help me. <laughs> I mean, I was on it for like, for like three months and yes. I was so lost. Yeah. I was oh, like, okay. I'm like, how do I pick a profile for what do I say? No, my friend set the whole thing up for me and then I, I didn't realize I had to like check it and, <laughs> and respond right away. Yeah. And then you miss the moment and it's just like, you know. Yeah. It's a lot yeah, to keep up yeah, with. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. It is. Uh, biggest <laughs> dating deal breaker. Bad breath, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's... I mean, that was, that was, like, that was a hard line. I mean, yeah, it's not really like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so true. Uh, what's your love language? I think physical touch for me. Mm. Food. Number one. <laughs> Probably what? Food. food. Yeah. Yeah. Food, that's a love language. It all comes yeah. back to food at the yeah. end of the day. That's what makes yeah. us happy. Uh, what do you think is the best rom-com of all time? Oh gosh, the best of all I mean, time. Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I, don't I can know. say like my favorite. What's your favorite? That I really love watching How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. That's mm -hmm. mine too. Yeah. Kate Hudson, Matthew McConaughey. They're such a good duo. Match made in oh, heaven. Wow. Yeah, I was like going back in time to like. It happened one night with Claudette Colbert. I haven't <laughs> like, seen that. It's a black and white it's movie. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I need to go see that I one as see well. black and white. <laughs> uh, before we go, you two had such a fun dynamic in this film. It was great mm -hmm. to see the banter and the back and forth. Uh, what were your first impressions of each other? I don't even remember the first. When I, 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 I can just say my general impression of mm -hmm. you, of working mm -hmm. with you was just like, I mean, she brought so much to this character that wasn't on the page that like, I mean, we're so lucky you have had you oh, playing I this role. I feel lucky to have been asked and get to be with these. No, it was a dream. Like vision. Every choice you girls. made, like so much of that character is owed to you. Like truly. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I the can't even do the shaving her legs. Legs. if I tried. Shaving her legs. That was the that best was her. scene. I was like, <laughs> and it made the scene like. So that wasn't even scripted. Yeah, no, it wasn't. That. It wasn't scripted. It was her choice oh and it was God. hilarious. <laughs> I was very angry at me though. He said, "You're here to cut yourself, and I don't have the right razor for today. You can't have these kinds of inspiration." I know, it's like, it was a, it's a, a challenge. I imagine you were very impressed by her taking on, you know, absolutely. I hope that producing. it's just reeking off me how much respect you have, I have. You're for so her. supportive. I, it's really sweet. It's it's genuine.